Hey Tutoring Bee fans! This video is going to be about factor trees. Factor trees are a way to find the prime numbers that you can multiply together in order to find a larger number. Um, so factor trees are very useful when you're trying to find the LCM or the lowest common multiple, the GCF, the greatest common factor, or if you're trying to find square roots. So factor trees can help you with all of those things. And if you don't know what those things are, if you uh, need some extra help with those, you're in luck because I have videos for all of those topics. So I'm going to put a link to those videos below rather than trying to put it all into one video. Let's go ahead and get started with one and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about with prime factorization. Um, we're going to start, you know, I always like to start with an easy example. So we're going to start with the number 24. So again, we're just trying to figure out what prime numbers can we multiply together to get to 24. So I'm just going to divide 24 up into different numbers so that I can figure out those small factors. So what two numbers could I multiply to make 24? Well, I could do 2 and 12. That would work. And right there, right off the bat, I already have a prime number in my factor tree. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that prime number. So 12 is a composite number, so I'm going to uh, split that up. And for 12, I can multiply 2 times 6. Again, 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that one. And then 6 can be split up into 2 times 3. And those are both prime numbers. So when I get down to the end of my tree and all of my numbers are circled, all of my numbers are prime numbers, then I know that I'm done with factoring this number. So my answer is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or it could also be written as 2 cubed times 3. Oops, sorry. There you go. So I wanted to show you that 24 can be factored in a different way. I picked 2 and 12 to start with, but I'm going to pick um, some other numbers. I'm going to factor 24 again and just show you that you can do this in different ways. So 24 can also be made up by multiplying 8 times 3. Well, again, 3 is my prime number, so I'm going to go ahead and circle that. But 8, I can keep going. 8 is the same as 4 times 2. 2 is a prime number. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So both of those are prime numbers. So it works out to give me the same answer. I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Which is what I had over here. There you go. So there's a quick, easy explanation of factor tree um, when you're trying to find the prime factorization. So what I wanted to do was show you a little bit um, a bigger number so that you can see how to factor those larger numbers. Uh, so let's start with the number 250. Okay. Again, if you know your divisibility rules, this number is really easy to, to put into prime factors. I'm going to split this up. Because this number has a zero at the end, I know that it's divisible by 10. And um, because of my uh, divisibility rules in my larger numbers video, I know that 1 times 25 is 25. So I know that 25 times 10 is 250. So I've just split that number up into more manageable numbers to split up. 25 can be split up into 5 times 5, and both of those are prime numbers, so I'm going to circle those. And then 10 can be split up into 2 times 5. Both of those are prime numbers. So for 250, my prime factorization is 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 or 2 times 5 cubed. And there you go. That's just uh, the, the quickest, easiest way to show you how to do prime factorization. Again, check out my other videos because I do have some other tips for you when you're looking for LCM, GCF, or trying to find square roots. Thanks. Bye.